Good day everybody and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. In the today's video we have some cool thingy <laughs> to present uh, from TID Radio. Um, we are talking about the Old Master app or OD Master app, the way I like to call it, is a programming app and this cool uh, TID Radio Bluetooth dongle that you can use to program your radio without the use of cables. If you're like me, uh, old school, and you like analog stuff, and you're not so much into Bluetooth programming and all this kind of stuff, and you prefer just to plug in a cable uh, and then plug that cable into your computer and use a programming software, you might think, why would I need this thing uh, <laughs> to program my radio? When I get to plug something anyway into the radio, I would rather just plug a cable. And I thought the same way, until I realized that actually when you go portable, it's not like you're going to carry your computer in your backpack all the time. <laughs> so that is when this uh, old master app and the TID radio uh, Bluetooth dongle will come in handy because you get to program your uh, radio on the spot using your phone. So the TDH8 uh, model that I have from TID radio, it has built-in Bluetooth. So if I click this BL button, you will see the little icon here on the screen showing you that uh, Bluetooth is on. So I'm going to leave this one on because I'm going to uh, use it with the app for a quick demo. Just because the the dongle, unfortunately, uh, well, the Audi Master app actually um, does not support the Baofeng model that I have, which is, I can't remember. Let me check really quick. How do I do that? like this uh, this is a uv b5 model and it's not supported yet in the app so unfortunately i cannot do a demo with this one <laughs> i used to have a, a uv5r that i actually uh, made it as a present to one of the youtube subscribers so i'm going to uh, jump into the app really quick so I'm going to open the <coughs> Old Master app. And what I have to do first is connect uh, with a Bluetooth device, which is the radio. In, uh, in the case you're using the dongle, you will connect to this dongle. You have to turn on Bluetooth on the phone and also turn on the dongle. Uh, right now we're going to pretend that uh, my radio is the dongle. <laughs> So it will appear the kit, whatever thingy, uh, something like that. You're going to turn this on. And now it's actually paired with the with your phone. And then you have to select the model of your radio. Let's say we're going to go to Baofeng and we're going to click UV5R. But because we're not with Baofeng, I'm going to have to click uh, to go back. How do I go back? I'm not sure how do I go back. Uh, ah, TID radio. Okay, TDH8 ham, because that's the one that I have. And uh, then I get to read from the radio, and now it's going to read all the information that I have um, on the radio, all the program channels and all that. So yeah, imagine that uh, you are somewhere on, uh, on top of a mountain and uh, you're in a different area than what you're familiar with and where you're usually going and you would like to check in into the local repeaters and maybe you have a bunch of repeaters and you want to program them really quick. Uh, probably it's going to take you a lot of time <laughs> to program them using the, the keys on your radio. So a good idea would be uh, to use this uh, old master app uh, either with a radio like the TDH8 that I have which has um, Bluetooth um, built in or a radio that's supported by the app you have to check in um, on the product product details of the uh, this uh, TID radio um, um, uh, dongle Bluetooth dongle this is this model it's uh, the first one BL1 I've if I understand, I think there is a BL2 as well, so I'm not sure exactly what's the difference. So, uh, it read everything from the radio. Um, 
basically uh, you will have all the stuff that it's already programmed into the radio but let's say you want to reprogram it with some other things so on channel one for example i have uh, in my case is two meters simplex i have three simplex frequencies memorized in my in my radio uh, for the two meters band maybe you want to change the frequency uh, whatever you changes you want to do here tx power we're going to change it from low high to low for example i'm not sure i'm just going to give you an example i'm not gonna mess up my radio and i know the programming because i want to do outside uh, to go outside and do some satellite stuff so um yeah i mean it's really easy and uh, all you have to do after that uh, let's go to function mm, squelch level let's change the squelch level to three for example and uh, by the way the one of the subscribers, I forgot the, the name, sorry, I apologize for that, but I just received a comment The TID radio just did a firmware update for the TDH8, which I will have to install because I wanted to do it last night and I didn't have the time. But if you remember, there was a problem with the volume um, of the microphone being a little too low. Right now, the microphone again changed from 32 maximum, which is right now, uh, is 32 i think it changed to 48 i was told so you can raise the the microphone gain even more uh, that will help with the low microphone uh, volume uh, in case you had that issue uh, before so anyway uh, once you programmed your radio with uh, whatever channels that you want let's go i have oh, a lot of channels available 199 I'm not sure how many channels I had programmed, but uh, you're going to put your uh, frequency over there, and of course over here you get to put your name of the of that particular uh, frequency, and then all you have to do is click write and uh, write everything into the radio, and uh, it's going to take a little bit. It doesn't take so long, and. Um, it's just a little bit longer than doing it through the cable on the computer but imagine that you're portable on top of a mountain so it's very convenient to, to update your uh, radio this way honestly i didn't like i didn't uh, upload complete it confirm okay, let me turn let me turn off that radio uh to be honest i didn't like this uh, this dongle um, i'm not sure but i have a feeling that it radio emailed me a couple of months back and they asked me if I want to do a review for this one when I heard Bluetooth you know me analog guy old school I said oh, no you know I'm not so interested in this kind of stuff I prefer to use it uh, doing the uh, with a cable and uh, I kindly refuse to uh, to do a review for this one but uh, when I received the the TDH8 the radio with which has a built-in Bluetooth um, this was in the package as well and uh, you know initially I was like ah I said I don't want to do the review for this one but then then I started to um, use the Bluetooth uh, with the app uh, from the you know the, the built-in Bluetooth in the radio and I've realized that actually it's it's quite a cool future so um, there you go uh, the Bluetooth dangle for radios that don't hear don't have uh, built-in uh, Bluetooth it's actually quite cool and to be honest uh, I find it very easy to to update the radio with this one because to be honest in the past when I actually didn't know how to use chip and I did not have a programming cable and I was trying to program my old uh, uh, UV5R for satellite work and believe me when you're trying to uh, memorize so many channels uh, with so many details and settings and stuff it becomes annoying at some point doing it through the keys so uh, using the chip software, uh, you know, with a cable on the computer or this thing, uh, <laughs> this magic thing that I didn't want to do a review about and now I actually like, uh, using it with the, the, with the old master app was actually cool. So I'm going to stop over here just because uh, I don't know exactly what else to say about this <laughs> since I cannot use my, uh, my radio to, to program this um, to program the radio using this dongle I can just plug it in but pretty much that's it just because it's really cool actually uh, but yeah that's all I can do because uh, it's not going to read the information from the 
from the radio. But anyway, it's a, it's a really cool thing. Uh, check on their website uh, which one is available and please have a look before buying it. Have a look on the list of uh, supported radios to make sure that the radio that you have is on that list and is going to actually read the information from, uh, from your radio and write back uh, the, <laughs> the new information that you put into the app. So uh, yeah. I hope you like it. I hope uh, you will enjoy this as much as I do. <laughs> it's funny, I didn't want to do a, a review for this one and now I actually like it. But uh, yeah, it's just a short video for today. Um, I will try to, to record some satellite work uh, these days and probably over the weekend I might post another video, probably on Saturday or maybe on Sunday if I have the time and I'm not uh, going out to do landscape photography. So that's it for today. Uh, by the way, on the blog I posted this uh, printable logbook if you want to, to uh, download the template and use it when uh, doing portable work. Uh, it's really great. This is what I'm using. Somebody asked me, <laughs> by the way, um, what I'm using when I'm going portable. And to be honest, I didn't get to, to go portable as often as I wish I, I would uh, just because I was too busy this summer. But maybe now in the fall, I, I'll have more time to do some more portable because I really want to do some uh, solar activations. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I posted this one on the blog, you can download the template. It's a zip folder and inside the zip folder, no, actually it's not a zip folder, it's straight a PDF file. So you get to download a PDF file and print it. It's A4 size, uh, paper format, and uh, probably in the future I might update it and uh, also add into the same article uh, an A5 size, so it's half of the A4 page. Uh, just in case you want to uh, stick this into some uh, notebook or stuff like that to make it even smaller and easier to pack so anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next uh, week or probably this weekend maybe with another video until then thanks for watching and 73.